Hello everyone, welcome to WLC Kids at Home. My name is Cindy and, and I'm really glad that you're here today. We are studying lessons about Jesus' parables. Now parables are stories that Jesus told to the people to help them better understand how to live and how to follow Jesus' teachings. Now today our story is about, called the, it's called the parable of the two sons. Now in this story, we're gonna hear about how we should obey God with our whole heart. Now, if you're playing a card game, it's important, or a board game, that you obey the rules. Because if you don't obey the rules, then sometimes the game just doesn't work, and sometimes the wrong person wins. It's kind of like our story today. We're gonna see that we should obey God follow his rules, and follow him with our whole heart. Now, our Bible verse that we've been learning is from Matthew chapter 13, verse 12. Listen while I read it to you. To those who listen to my teachings, more understanding will be given, and they will have an abundance of knowledge. So that's Matthew 13, 12. The words are going to come up on the screen. So let's read it together. There's a lot of words here, so let's read it together. To those who listen to my teaching, more understanding will be given, and they will have an abundance of knowledge. Great job. Now let's sing those words. It's a lot of words, and sometimes singing will help us learn the words better. So let's stand up and sing our memory verse song. This is Matthew 13, 12. We're going to start by marching like this. And I'm going to hear you say, hey. And hey, one more time, really loud. job singing those words. Now in our Bible story today we're going to hear the story or the parable of the two sons and the story we're going to find out how important it is to obey God with our whole heart. Let's watch our animated story now. Stories of the Bible. The parable of the two sons. This is Jesus. Hey -o who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like walking on water. Oh, hey guys. And even raised people from the dead. Uh, Wahoo! 
Jesus was in the temple in Jerusalem teaching when the Pharisees and religious leaders came up to him. <laughs> they challenged his authority and Jesus said, what do you think about this? A man with two sons told the older boy, Hey, son! Son, go out and work in the vineyard today. Eh. The son answered, No, I won't go. But later he changed his mind and went anyway. Then the father told the other son, Hey, son! You go. And he said, Yes, sir, I will. But he didn't go. Then Jesus asked, which of the two obeyed his father? They replied, the first. Then Jesus explained his meaning in telling this story. Jesus told them that people who sinned would get into the kingdom of God before they did. This is because the Pharisees and religious leaders didn't believe the people who God sent to tell his message. Jesus continued to talk to the Pharisees and religious leaders. They realized he was telling the story against them and they wanted to arrest him. But they were afraid of the crowds because the crowds listened to Jesus and believed that the message he was speaking was from God. That's a great story. God wants us to know that we should obey him with our whole heart. And we should not just say we're going to obey God, but we should follow through with our actions. Now, have you ever wondered what those Bible stories that Jesus told might look like today in our time? Well, let's watch the modern retelling of the parable of the two sons. There were two sons. The mom went to the first son and said, son, Go take out the trash. I don't want to take out the trash, the first boy said. Mom went to the second son. She said, son, go take out the trash. Sure, the second son said, but he stayed preoccupied and never got around to do it. first son, who said he would not take out the trash, finally got up and did exactly what his mom asked. So, the first son said he would not take out the trash, but did. The second son said he would take out the trash, but didn't. Which of these two did the right thing? So my question is, which boy in this story obeyed his mom? What do you think? Well, let's see what Tyler, AKA, or also known as Young Pastor Steve, if you remember from the uh, Mad Science Skills videos, but here he's going to tell us a little bit more about what this parable means. Let's watch Tyler. Okay, that video wasn't that funny, but I spit my water out because at the end, I couldn't believe that that kid took the trash out. He said no to his mom, but then he actually ended up taking out the trash. That doesn't even make any sense. Why would you say no and then do the opposite? Well, I mean, I guess if, if we're comparing the two boys, though, I would say that the first one who was reading, he did the right thing because the second boy just lied to his mom, basically. He said he's gonna take the trash out and then he didn't do it. You know, actually, this reminds me of the parable of the two sons. The lesson that Jesus is trying to teach us through this parable is solely focused on the importance of being obedient to God. In this parable, the father tells his two sons to go out and work the field. One of the sons says, no, but eventually he changes his mind and gets to work. And the other son says, yes, but then he never goes out and does the work. So when Jesus told this parable, he asked his followers, which of the two sons obeyed his father? Was it the one who said no, but had a change of heart and obeyed? Or was it the one who initially said yes, but never followed through? It was the one who originally said no, 
but then he changed his mind. God wants us to know that it is never ever too late to make the right decision. Just like the first son who told his father no, but then had a change of heart, we can still put our faith in God and choose to obey him. Living like the second son is dangerous because when we live obediently on the outside, but we are dishonest on the inside, we're not obeying God. Our actions must match our words, even if it's tough. And making the right decision is not always easy, but God promises to guide and support us even when we struggle. We can't just talk about making good decisions that please God. Our actions have to line up with our words. So instead of just saying to your parents that you will do the dishes or that you will finish your homework, follow through with what you say. We are called to be obedient to God and to make the choices that please Him. So follow through. All right, guys, we are just about done here. We'll catch you next week on another episode of Rewind. Okay, bye. So my question for you was, do you remember which boy obeyed his mom? Well, it was the boy who originally told her no, but then changed his mind and did take the garbage out, or obey he ended up obeying her. Now, sometimes we make the wrong choice first, but we can always make the right choice, change our ways and make the right choice. We can choose to obey God, listen to his word, and follow his teachings. Not always easy to do, but we can always choose to obey God. Now, let's stand up and worship God with our whole hearts, just like we obey God with our whole hearts.
we can choose to obey God with our whole hearts. And when we choose to obey God, we're following God's perfect plan for us. God wants us to listen to his word and to follow his ways. Now, just like our Bible verse said, when we listen to Jesus' teachings, we have more understanding and an abundance of knowledge. And who does not want to have more knowledge? We can follow God with our whole heart. Follow and obey God. Well, I think it's time to close with prayer. I had a great time with you, and I hope you learned that no matter what, you can always choose to obey God. God has a great plan for your life. So let's fold our hands, and we'll bow our heads, and we'll close with prayer. Dear God, thank you for choosing to forgive us whenever we seek forgiveness from you. Always help us to make the right choices, to obey you and follow your rules. It's not easy, but your plan for us is much better than anything that we could do for ourselves. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. I hope you have a great week coming up, and I hope you can decide and choose to follow God, to obey him with your whole heart, because God has a great plan for you. Have a great week.